Hello students, your instructor here, John, we're dealing with another screencast, this one in Premiere Pro, and it's going to do a simple time remapping thing. Um, so uh, here's how you do it, so I have my clip and I just dragged it here, and if I scrub through, you can see it's just me turning around, kind of thinking intently in front of the green screen. And what I want to do is I want to have it be um, really fast, and then slow down in the middle, like kind of slow mo motion, and then get really fast again. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on this, and then my effects controls panels, I'm going to click, uh, make sure the, uh, the stopwatch, my speed is checked on. I'm actually going to make this a little bit smaller over here because I don't really need program monitor that big. And I am going to, I'm just going to go in here and click that to make a keyframe, and then I go a little bit more, let's say about this much. I got another keyframe. So remember, this is going to be slowed down, so it's going to take a long period of time. So now what I can do is I just grab on this white handle, and you have to, it's kind of a finesse game as far as where you're clicking. When I hover over this, the, my cursor arrow it turns white, I got this. So I'm going to bring this up really high, and you can see that as it gets higher, it also gets uh, narrower. It actually goes off the screen uh, a little bit too high for itself. Uh, that's because as it's going to go faster, it's going to take less time. So to see more of this, what I can do I hover over this kind of dark gray line, it's double arrow, and I can drag this so I can see more of what's going on so I don't get off the screen. So I'll make this really, really fast. Notice how these kind of the split keyframe goes with it. And then same thing on this side, I'm going to drag it up and make this really fast as well, about the same as that one. And then this one, since it's about normal speed, I'm going to take this, drag it down, and you can see that it's going to get wider, and that makes sense because it's going to slower, it's going to take a longer period of time. So now I've got that. So now if I were to uh, play this right now, it be a little choppy, but if I rendered it and played it, see it's pretty quick, and then it's going to go really, really slow. Again, I notice it's choppy. Then it's going to get really, really quick at the end there. Okay? So what I want to do to make, make the transition a little bit smoother is I can open these up. If I drag this arrow like that. If any of you are familiar with the blend if gray type of stuff in Photoshop when you're blending layers, it's a very similar idea that you can move either side of those uh, arrows. Uh, to smooth out the process. So now I've got this, it's really careful, if I hover over this blue handlebar, I can actually change how it blends. And of course, the, the longer that that is, I should say the wider that is, the more gradual the change is. I'm going to go like this. It's like this. Instead of being like, uh, you know, a, a city skyline, it's more of like a, a valley. And so now if I, I'm going to render this out and play it back. So I'm going to pause while I'm rendering. So you can see it plays smoothly. All right, it's all rendered out. So now I'm going to show you what it would be like to play this. See, it's going to start out really quick and then gradually slow down to a very super slow and then gradually speed up again. Uh, and I'm going to leave this so you can see kind of how that operates uh, on this. Another interesting thing, if I left click on this opacity and go to time remapping speed, I can actually do it down here too. I just uh, like doing it here instead. So now we're going to watch this. It starts quickly, it's gradually slowing down until it's very slow, and then it picks back up again. Let's watch it again. Quick, slows down. You can see right here as it's slowing down, this part right here is the slowest possible part. So let's watch it again. And be, we're watching both the program monitor and also the effect controls panel to see how uh, what we did over here is affecting the video. Like that. And as you're doing it, as you're making your adjustments here, or if you want to do it here instead of dragging the yellow line up and down, you're going to notice that this, uh, the overall duration of the clip is going to expand or, um, or shrink. That's just because when you're messing with time, you're messing with how long things last, not just how fast or slow they go. So always remember, um, velocity equals distance times time. All right, it's a little science thrown at you, but that's how it works. Uh, watch it one more time. See there, now it's going slower, now it's super slow, and then it's picking back up again. So that's time remapping in a nutshell. Thanks. Goodbye.